What's up guys, in this video I want to do a brief discussion on live booleans, what they are, how they work, and um, this will be especially useful info for beginners. So what I'm going to do is just start with the default cube here. So whenever you want to start using booleans in Blender, we have two different types of booleans. We have live booleans and we have applied booleans. And there's different functionalities between both that I think a lot of beginners get kind of wrapped up in and confused about. So I'm just going to kind of knock out all that confusion here. So let's say you have a default cube here and we come and run a cut. I'm going to use a cube or a box. Uh, I'm using box cutter here, but you can use whatever you want to use a boolean. So say you have a boolean here, a boolean here, maybe a boolean over here. Okay, so these booleans in the current state are what we call live booleans. The reason they're called live means they are, well, alive if you think about it, meaning we can move them around, play with them. They're active booleans we can use um, whatever we want really. So let's say I you know, turn on one of these cutters. It's alive, meaning I can move this around and put it wherever I want. Same for this cutter right here. This is a live boolean, then obviously this one as well. That's a live boolean. So how do we know if a boolean is live just by looking at it? So it's very simple. Anything in the modifier stack, if I select the cube where we have all the booleans running, all of these booleans that are in the stack are what we call live booleans. So we have three cutters. All three of these booleans correspond to these cutters. These are live because they have not been applied. So up until I apply these, I can move these around at my own free will. So let me turn off the cutters collection. Now what happens if I apply a boolean? So for example, I'm going to apply the first one here. Now we have two live booleans and one applied boolean. So two different states. So as you may have guessed, um, you're going to have one that's been applied. Now this geometry is real geometry. In this other, these other two areas are what I just call fake geometry because this data, this boolean cut isn't technically real until we go from a live state to an applied state, meaning we go in and we apply these booleans. So the only way to turn uh, theoretical data into real data um, is by applying your booleans. Anytime you do that, you're going to have access to that geometry, that data basically in edit mode. Okay, so that's the difference between live booleans and applied booleans. Very simple. I want to show you something else here. So let's say I run a live boolean here. By the way, this is whenever you use live booleans, you're working non-destructively. So live booleans, non-destructive, applied booleans, destructive. Makes sense because once you go destructive, it's kind of difficult to move around these uh, cuts. You know, I can't do too much anymore. It's kind of stuck where it is. So that's why we say non-destructive and destructive. So I'm going to run another live boolean here. And most of the time we just say boolean. I mean, we don't have to be that specific, but for a beginner it might help. Okay, so live boolean right here. I want to show you something. So remember how I said the data is not real until you apply your boolean. I'm going to actually make this a bit bigger. Okay, so that being said, if I go into edit mode, I can still see the cut. Now, why is that? That's because um, Blender still allows you to preview it. If you want to preview only the real data that exists, you can turn this off. And you won't be able to see any cuts that are not applied, any, any live booleans, basically. So, um, yeah, a lot of beginners get kind of wrapped up and confused as to why does my cube or whatever object, why does it look different in object mode, but I go into edit mode and it's just a completely different object. Now, this is a bad example, but maybe I ran a boolean like this, Somebody might see this in object mode, then go into edit mode, and they see something completely different. Well, that's most likely because you have a live boolean that has not been applied to the data here. So what you need to do is um, either you know leave it and just understand what's happening. You could also turn off or on this function that I just showed you if it helps you. Or if you're happy with where it is and you don't plan to make any more adjustments, you could just go in and apply your boolean and now you're not going to have that weird um, different looking mesh in edit mode. So those are the two different states of booleans in Blender. Um, it's probably obvious for a lot of you that watch my videos, but I actually got an email recently and I thought this would be helpful for a lot of beginners out there still learning 
and just trying to understand a bit more how the Boolean system works. It's very simple once you understand it intuitively, but it definitely can be confusing. I had the same exact problems when I first started. So that's the difference between live Booleans and applied Booleans. To wrap it up, live Booleans means you're working non-destructively. You can move the Boolean around, but the data doesn't exist. Applied Booleans, the data exists, much like we have here, but it is not as versatile. We can't move things around easier. This is a destructive workflow. So that's the difference between the two. Hope it helps some of you out, and I'll see you in the next video.